We're doing it again. We're talking 10th edition box set rumors. Um, how long have we been doing this for now? <laughs> I've lost track. At this point, it feels odd that I'm not wearing the tinfoil hat when I start doing these videos, but um, maybe that'll jump out later on in the video. So as I mentioned, as the title mentions, this is all going to be about the 10th edition box set. A lot of people have been asking me about this box set. Apparently 10th edition is coming out next year. We've been speaking about this. It is going to be Space Marines and a certain Xenos race, which we'll mention in a second. Um, but before we jump into that, I just want to say this is a rumor video. As I always state with my rumors, rumors are rumors, right? They're not confirmed. It's not official, anything like that. The only time it's official is when Games Workshop confirms it over on their social media websites, Warmer community and stuff like that. So please don't get ahead of yourself and think like everything in this video is truthful. Because as I always state, rumors are basically just lies. They're just, they're just tales until we get it confirmed. So let's jump in and let's get waffling. So I think the biggest thing to start with a part of this boxer is that I've heard the name of this boxer now. Again, take this as as much salt as you can carry. But apparently the 10th edition box set is going to be called Leviathan which then adds up to the rumors that we've been hearing now for a past couple of months that this box set, of course, will feature Space Marines versus Tyranids. Like, the the whispers that constantly bounce around in my head have been saying Tyranids now for a while, and I personally do believe them, as I always say, just because I believe them doesn't mean that you believe them, um, because I'm hearing that the Tyranids for 10th edition are going to be getting that Necron treatment, what they got for 9th edition, where they're going to get the big range refresh with, you know, brand new models, um, some newer type of models, everything like that. So the box set now being called Leviathan actually does make sense because, of course, Leviathan is one of the high fleets that the Tyranids um, are, are a part of. And it also adds into another rumor. Now, I don't know how true this one is. I'm, I'm kind of 50-50 on this one, so I'll hold my hands up that apparently this box set is not going to be painted as ultramarines apparently the rumors are saying that this the like the like the leviathan box set um let's call it the leviathan box set now the leviathan box set is apparently going to be painted as blood angels which again does make sense in the law because it was high fleet leviathan that attacked uh, Baal, the devastation of Baal, great book series by Guy Haler, if you want to go and check it out for yourself. So maybe narrative-wise, they're setting up for something like that. We've got video games and stuff with Blood Angels fighting High Fleet Leviathan and stuff. So yeah, from a lore standpoint, from you know a tabletop standpoint, um, if that box set is called Leviathan and it is painted against uh, Blood Angels, for me, it really, really does make sense. Now, before we move on, I just want to say, since it's just painted well, potentially it's going to be painted as Blood Angels, right? That doesn't mean it's a Blood Angel box set. Um, a lot of people I get got, like got confused saying, "All oh, right, so it's going to be like, you know, Blood Angel shoulder pads and stuff like that in the box set." No, it's just, it's just instead of them painting blue, they paint it red instead. The reason why they don't do a chapter specific box set in this day and age is because basically a lot of people feel like that box set's not for them and they won't buy it. And Games Workshop wants to sell this box set to as many people as possible as many space marine players as possible so even it even though it may be painted as blood angels don't think you're going to get like you know a new dante model inside of it or like a um you know a chapter specific um uh, blood angel character or something like that it's all just going to be generic and they're just going to be either painted blue or red moving on to potential content this part is a little bit of live information, but, you know, I have been hearing a few things that are going to be in this box set. So from the Space Marine side, um, one of the HQs um, is apparently a brand new librarian. I think one of the things that we don't really have as part of Space Marines is a lot of, like, characters like librarians, chaplains, librarians, and stuff like that. We've got a couple, but I don't know. For what positions that they serve and what they are in the chapters, I thought that Games Workshop would invest more into them. If you look at, like, the lieutenants, 
there's so many of them, but, you know, chaplains, librarians, tech marines even. You've only got like one or two models of those. Yes, we have got like a photo boss version of a librarian. But anyway, I'm getting off subject. One of the definite HQs in this box set is going to be a librarian. Now, moving on to the much more spicy topic, and this is where, you know, we actually are going to go down the rabbit hole. I actually do need my tinfoil hat for this. And apparently, we're going to get new Terminators in this box set. How long have we been speaking about the so-called potential Primaris Terminators? Um, again, they could feature in this box set, but from what I'm hearing is that they're not going to be Primaris Terminators. Basically, Games Workshop is just redesigning the Terminator armor to make it more thicker, make it more, you know, taller to actually stand in line with Primaris armor. So when you look at a Terminator and you look at a Primaris Marine, the Terminator doesn't look small and stupid. It actually, you know, suits the scale of um, where they've gone now with um, the, all, the, all the new Marine figures. So hopefully uh, that does turn out to be true because I said this so many times, Terminator armor is so iconic. It's probably the most iconic piece of Space Marine armor for me. Um, one of my favorite Space Marine armors. Um, so if they were to redesign that, and give it to Primaris Marines, then I think it would really take a lot of wind out of the sails. So to hear that type of rumor instead really does please me. And I'm just having my fingers crossed now. And hopefully that turns out to be true. Now over on the Tyranid side, sadly, this is where it is just dry of information. Um, I have heard potentially there is going to be like a new Termagant slash Hormagant thing involved in it, but nothing bang on that makes me want to believe it at this point from sources whom I trust. I definitely, 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 definitely Definitely, definitely, I'm going with some of the rumors that I'm hearing. Of course, as I mentioned, that Tyranids are getting like the range refresh. So, like new Lictors, um, what's it called? A bio, a bioverse, or bio something like that. I'm sorry, Tyranid players, I'm, I'm not really up to date with uh, your models, but you know, don't have fear. Um, you are going to be getting a lot of love when 10th edition drops. A lot of kits are going to be redone, um, you know, um, you know, redesigned and stuff like that. A bunch of new stuff, apparently, is going to be coming as well. Um, I think it's going to be a great time if you're a Tyranid player. If, if, if you love Tyranids, everything like that, um, I, I, I really truly believe that it's going to be a great time, just like what the Necrons got, um, as I mentioned, at the start of 9th edition. I do think, though, again, this is just a personal theory of mine, if the Terminators end up being in this box set, then potentially we could put new Gene Stealers in the box set as well because Gene Stealers versus Terminators are so iconic and I think it would really, really work because how long have we been waiting for new Gene Stealer models and stuff like that? So um, again, that's just my little personal theory on that uh, on, on that front. But um, yeah, it's definitely going to be Space Marines versus Tyranids and Tyranids are going to get a lot of love in that box set, not just Space Marines. And to be fair, that is more or less some of the stuff that I know at this point. Um, I will be making future videos when I get more updates and stuff and more stuff confirmed. The last thing I want to be doing is talking about stuff in these type of rumor videos that could lead people down the wrong road and then when it doesn't happen, then you know everyone's disappointed. I don't really want to do that. So I'm just waiting for a few more things to be confirmed and then we'll start talking about it um, uh, more on. Um, I want to say like thank you for everyone, for the constant support. I know the videos have been pretty light. Uh, it always is at this time of year because, you know, I'm spending time with my family, my kids, my partner, everything like that. Um, just, you know, just just enjoying life, having having good family memories and stuff like that. Um, but I will be doing some streaming um, towards the end of the year and we'll have some laughs, some jokes, and hopefully, you know, talking more about the crazy stuff that we always hear about. Um, but thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. If you've got any thoughts, feedback, anything like that, let me know down in the comment section. What do you think about the potential box being called Leviathan? What do you think about potentially having like, you know, Terminators, Librarian um, in there? The potential of it being painted as Blood Angels. Is that is that like a nice little changer to you or, or not? Um, let me know down in the comment section. And of course, we'll just talk down there. Have a great one. If I don't see you, then have a great Christmas. Have a great New Year. And thank you for all the love, all the support, everything like that. I truly, truly love you all. You've made my life an absolute dream. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you all very, very soon. See ya and bye-bye.